All right, guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to go over an entertaining article titled, What It Means If the Married Man You're Having an Affair With Ghosts You Out of Nowhere. And guys, this article is written by a woman, and essentially this is a how-to guide for the gals out there that are having uh, affairs with married men, knowingly having affairs with married men, how to deal with it if he suddenly ghosts you. Instead of an article being written saying, hey, you're a total piece of crap for knowingly getting involved with a married man, being a homewrecker, breaking it up, etc., etc. Oh, no, no, no. This is for the gals out there because apparently this is so common, how to deal with it, what, what it really means, blah, blah, blah. It's ridiculous. And so once again, proving, as I say quite often, we are living in Sodom and Gomorrah 2.0 when actual articles are written about this particular subject. But you're also going to see here in this article that this woman herself, to no surprise, was that woman as well. <clears throat> now, I've said this before many times, guys. I am not a fan of, at all about cheating in any way, shape, or form. I think if you're in a relationship or marriage and you're that unhappy, okay, end it. End of story, all right? But if you actually go out there and do all those things, and even if she is your guy and she's an a-hole, Okay, fine. Yeah, maybe she deserves it, given her actions. But at the end of the day, you're only going to hurt yourself. Because it's going to come back to bite you in the butt. It always does. So best to just find out your options. If it's not going to work anymore, talk to a lawyer, the whole thing. Find your options, good, bad, or ugly, and then end it. Okay? And then you can go off and do whatever the hell you want. But uh, And it goes both ways, both men and women. But again, this goes to show, like I say, how, obviously so many people are doing this. And not once in this article you hear anything her saying... Uh, how dare you, or uh, this is your fault, or something like that. Not at all. It's just, they're their God. So that would be a pretty entertaining one to go over here, again, showing the state of how things are nowadays. So it starts off, she says here, uh, Having an affair with a married man is full of highs and lows, agony and ecstasy, and some days you may wonder if it's worth it all. If you're reading this article because a married man ghosted you, it can feel devastating. And now here you are, in the deepest of lows, wondering what the heck happened and why he disappeared? Oh, boo-hoo. You shouldn't have been with this guy in the first place. Just the way a guy shouldn't be with a married woman in the first place. And if she goes sim again, he deserves it. Uh, from personal experience and the experience of my clients, there are several specific reasons why a married man having an affair would pull away from a relationship with his mistress. Personal experience, she says. The five main reasons why a married man ghosts the woman he's having an affair with. Number one, he's freaking out again. How many times have you and your married man broke it up? I'm guessing probably way more than once. Are there times when he is overwhelmed with guilt and he declares that he just can't see you again and tearfully you agree to say goodbye? Again, boo-hoo. But notice she said here about the highs and lows. Remember I tell you guys all the time how women, they hate uncertainty but they're attracted to it. And who gives women the greatest amount of uncertainty and butterflies and roller coasters and highs and lows? The bad boys. The bad boys do it because they never know. They never know what he's doing, where he is, what he thinks about her. Could he show up the next day? Could he break up with her? She just doesn't know. And that excites them. They also love the danger. So with a married man, you get, he may not, he, one could argue he is a bad boy because he's cheating on his wife. But there's a lot of highs and lows, ups and downs, uncertainty. And they love it. And yet, poor them when uh, the guy pulls away. I can't tell you how many times this happened to me when I was involved with a married man. We'd be seeing each other regularly, seem really happy we were together, and talk about our future together. Then out of nowhere, he would get consumed by guilt and decide he had to let me go. It was so sad for me, especially those times when he would ghost me instead of being honest with me. Again, poor you. Lady, you got what you deserved. Okay? You're a homewrecker. And it's amazing how often this happens. But see right down in there, guys. Highs and lows. And they keep going back. I would be devastated while wondering where he was. I felt sure in those moments that he'd never really loved me. It was awful. But every time, four, every time, four weeks later, he would call me. For some small, stupid reason, we would agree to meet as friends. And the whole vicious circle would start up again. See? The roller coaster. The roller coaster of emotions. This is what it's all about. So if you're dating a relationship, guys, if you obviously want to keep a girl chasing after you, you need to give her the butterflies. Give her the 
w- roller coaster of emotions. That's what works. That's why you being on your grind, your purpose most of the time, making her dead last of importance, and she never quite knows when she's going to see you again. If you're not bugging her all day, texting her, she's she's then wondering about you. She's chasing after you for your validation, and that's what you want. Just as a tip for you dating relationship guys. Number two, he takes you for granted. I have a client whose married man regularly ghosts her. When the relationship is going just fine, out of the blue, she stops hearing from him. What often happens during this time is that he's doing something with his family or friends. Oh, God forbid. How dare he? Perhaps it's the... <clears throat> excuse me. Perhaps it's the weekend when he is skiing with his friends, on vacation with his wife, or his in-laws, maybe visiting. For whatever reason, he doesn't, can't, won't text. And he doesn't uh, tell her at a time because he knows she will get mad. So he goes to her when the time comes instead. When a married man disappears from a woman he lo- said he loves, he is taking her for granted. He assumes that no matter what, what he does, she will be there for him when he gets back. And more often than not, she is. Because she loves the turmoil. Exactly. And, you know, again, women get, I know this for a fact because I've had conversations about this. They, they claim they hate the bad boys or don't like bad boys, and yet they're actions demonstrate otherwise. I mean, how many of you guys have heard this, right? I mean, I'm sure some of you guys out there have girls that you know, either they were friends once, co-workers, maybe women in your family that admitted this. And I know some that admit they like bad boys, but uh, they still complain about them. Number three, he doesn't want to disappoint you. On the other side, taking you for granted is the fact that he knows if he tells you the truth, it won't go well. Perhaps he's scared that he will hurt you. He might be worried that you will be angry or disappointed. And he knows that he can't handle those kinds of emotions. Or he doesn't care, you know. I mean, yeah, there's probably part of him that he wants to keep you around as a side piece. And and don't get me wrong, this guy's a scumbag. I'm not going to deny that. It ain't cool you're cheating on your wife and family. Because it isn't just the wife. It's also the family. It's the kids, in my opinion. Uh, I can't tell you how many times my married guy disappeared. He had no problem being there for me when things were going good, when he wanted my support, or he was interested in getting in my bed. But when it came to facing up to what was going on, he ran away. Well, lady, then maybe you shouldn't have been with him. There's an idea. And she explained about this happened to her multiple times. And what I read from this is it isn't just multiple times with this one dude. Like, this is what this was, at least in the past, a habit for her. So one could also make the argument, you're getting what you deserve. You're being a home wrecker. You're getting what you deserve. And again, if this was a different situation where this was a guy involved with a married woman, and obviously it was unpredictable, and he, she was ghosting him, and all the things that's being written here, he deserved that too. Uh, he knew that he might hurt, anger, disappoint me, and he just couldn't bear the idea of doing that. Ironically, when he ghosted me, he did all those things three times in an even bigger way. And and it didn't do anything for my self-esteem when he returned again. Tell me how much he missed me and couldn't live without me. But I, I let him back in over and over. See? It's amazing how your typical nice guys never really get a second chance. Right? Think about, If you really think about it, it's the truth. But a bad boy can just keep hurting her ditching her, abandoning her, lying, cheating, all these things, and she'll keep going back and going back. And at the end of the day, it boils down to the butterflies, the roller coaster, the drama, because all women love drama. I don't care what they say. Now, some like it. It's a little bit. They get their drama fix from just hearing stories from their girlfriends when they get together or watching those ridiculous reality shows and seeing the drama there. For some, that that's enough for them. Others, they need to be just completely absorbed and consumed with the drama in their life. Otherwise, they're bored. And bad boys always give women drama, always excitement. Nice guys never give women drama or excitement because the nice guys are predictable. Nice guys are afraid to actually grow a pair and stand up for themselves or anything like that. And what happens is, is that since the women aren't getting the drama from the nice guys, they will then create drama themselves. That's, which is why that guys out there that are actually good guys need on occasion give them a little drama just to keep them from starting it yourselves. Essentially being proactive. A lot of people wouldn't like hearing me say that, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Number four. His wife suspects an affair. More often than not, the number one reason married man will ghost you is that his wife suspects something. 
I have a new client who reached out to me when her married man ghosted her. She was devastated and confused. He had made her so many promises and they were planning their life together and for, and for him to suddenly disappear was devastating. Clients, huh? Why don't you tell these so-called clients it's a bad idea being involved with a married dude on, on multiple fronts. You're, you're not going to get what you want. You're going to get hurt and disappointed. And guess what? It's immoral. It's not cool. You're, you're breaking up a family. But th- th- this is a story as, uh, as old as time. He uh, wrote her an email and told her that his wife found out at, and they were trying to work things out. His wife found their photos, texts, and shared Spotify playlists and asked him about it. He told her that he had met someone and they had been uh, physically intimate. They hadn't been physically intimate yet, but had an emotional connection. His wife ordered him to never talk to her again unless they were at work. She now monitors all of his phone calls and text messages and they're trying to work things out. Well, in a situation like that, as I say always, once a cheater, always a cheater. So let's just say this hypothetical situation, the wife is actually a decent person and loyal to him, which we can hope. And uh, that's why I say she'd kick him into the curb. Because he'll do it again. So because of his wife, who was the most important person to consider, despite the promises he made to his girlfriend, he ghosted her, leaving her feel less than and unimportant. Again, too bad. You brought this on yourself, getting involved with a married man. And this is when this so-called coach should be saying, cut that shit out. The upside is particularly ghosting is that she finally saw him for the person he really was and was happy to do the hard work to step away. Sure, until she eventually misses him, misses the excitement, and goes back again. Or gets involved with another married dude. Number five, he met someone else. How interesting that would be, you know. The guy's cheating on his wife with this uh, woman, his affair partner, and then ditches the affair partner for another affair partner. Because that's just how these things typically work. Uh, This one isn't as common, but definitely is a thing. Your married man may have decided he needs someone else to make him feel less alone. For many men, the thrill of the chase is what makes the affair partner compelling. Being physically intimate with someone new may be wonderful for a man like this, but fantasizing about a life with someone, having someone take care of them, and having a distraction when things get boring is also very attractive. When the thrill of these uh, things fade with the affair partner, which they always do, the married man moves on to someone new. Imagine that. This is why I say people don't change. But again, the karma for the gal, get involved with a married dude. But this married dude better watch out because he pisses off his affair partner by going on to some other girl. This chick could then go to his wife and present uh, the wife with everything all the pictures and texts and all that stuff like that, and assist her in the divorce. says here, your married man, instead of working on his unhappy marriage, used you to fill his emotional and physical needs. Why would he change his stripes now and try to do the the hard work with you? Again, making him out, not that he isn't a bad guy, making him out to be a bad guy. What about her? She's bad too. She's, She's an active participant in this whole thing. And why would he ever do the hard work of facing you and telling you that it was over? It's easier for this type of man to simply ghost you and move on. Sure it is. Because this uh, gal is a side piece. A distraction. Entertainment. Whatever you want to call it. Maybe he likes her a bit. You know, but seriously. I know that this concept is incredibly painful. But it's the best thing that could ever happen to you. If a man loses interest in you so quickly, like he lost interest in his wife, then he definitely isn't the person you thought he was. Newsflash, what do you think he is? He's cheating on his wife and family. But then again, probably this it was the sob story like, oh, she's terrible to me or doesn't understand me or I'm going to be breaking up with her real soon or something like that. And this gal heard what she wanted to hear, saw what she wanted to saw, saw what she wanted, saw what she wanted to see. Uh, can you imagine what the rest of your life would look like with this man? Would you ever trust him again? Yeah, there's another thing. Let's just say this uh, gal's having an affair with this dude. He's ghosting. They get back together. And let's just say they actually he broke up with his wife. You don't know, think he's going to do the same thing to you? It's like the same thing. It's like guys that get involved with gals that uh, they she was cheating on her guy with you. And then they break up. And then you think she's not going to cheat on you when things get bad. You, you got another thing coming. Says here, finishes up saying, uh, having a married man ghost you is an awful thing to go through. And you're likely to feel very sad. I know. 
But knowing what's going on might help you manage the pain. He might very well be questioning your relationship again and will be, will be back. Or he might be afraid or be, of being honest with you and dealing with your emotions. His wife may have found out or perhaps he just moved on. Any number of things. But notice she's adding to the a little bit of hope there. Saying he very well may be back. That's the last thing you want to tell these types. With all that in mind, for whatever reason, the reality is that your married man ghosted you. If you want to ask yourself if you really want to be in a relationship, potentially long term, with someone who will ghost you instead of be facing issues head on. That doesn't sound very fun, does it? It's likely time to let him go and find the love that you deserve. Yeah, with a dude that's not married and doesn't have kids. But is that guy, that nice guy, to give her the same type of excitement that the married guy gives her? Obviously not. And this is why she's attracted to the married guys. It's the challenge. It's the unpredictability. All those types of things that gals like. So the trick is for you dating relationship guys that watch me, your number one thing needs to be your purpose. But you obviously do dating relationships. So you want to keep your girl interested in you because obviously that's what you want. Therefore, you got to make things exciting and be unpredictable and hard to figure out and all that. And that will keep her enough drama, enough excitement to keep her around and all that. Because when women get bored... That's it. And women get bored very, very easily. And the age old saying, keep it new or it's through. And since they don't get that excitement from single guys, heaven forbid, they then have to get a guy that's already taken. And there's an old joke. I've heard this a long time ago. The most attractive thing to a woman is a man that's taken. And there's multiple reasons behind that whole thing. But anyhow, guys, this is an example of the Sam Gamora 2.0 world we're in, where there's an actual article written, how to help the gals out there whose married man they're dating and seeing is uh, ghosting them. Because apparently this is having, happens quite often. Amazing. So, all right, guys, that was it for today. Quick one, but that'd be an entertaining article. I've done the articles for a while, and that was sent to me by a viewer, so I thought it would be a good one to cover. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And, guys, you come across a good article or story you'd like me to share, by all means, email it to me, strongsuccessfulmail at gmail.com. Just, just don't forget to include the, the link to the article, because sometimes... Guys get excited and they write to me and they forget to include the link, so make sure you include it. And also, guys, if you've got a personal story you'd like to share, something that happened in your life would be a good story to share on the channel, again, email it to me as well. Just make it easy for me to read and I'll get to it when I can, if it works for the channel. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.